Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in Doctor Who December. It is time for the Robots of Death Part 2. Um, I am very, very excited. I feel like if this story continues to be as good as the first part was, we could have a new contender for being my favourite uh, story with Tom Baker. What is my favourite story with Tom Baker? I don't know. I haven't written down my scores yet. Um, it could even be one of my all-time favourite stories. I absolutely loved part one. The Doctor is buried alive, being buried alive. So don't know what's going to happen about that. Leela needs to rescue him, really. But how does she know that he's in there? Because I feel like he's too buried in to even call out for help. That Yeah, these robots just want to kill. I don't know if all the robots want to kill or if it's just certain robots, but they're, they're, they're trying they're to trying kill, kill people. Bad robots. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're all really enjoying Doctor Who December. I'm having a lot of fun making it. Making it? Mm, kind of. Right, let's crack on. Okay. Ah, very clever. Because I said about him needing to wrap his scarf around his face or something to breathe. Leela and that knife. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you very much. What are you doing in Bob Hopper? Oh, don't ask me such silly questions. How did you know I was in there? When I got here, the gauge showed a high percentage of impurity in the ore. I therefore checked. Well, I'm not surprised there's a dead man in there, murdered. Strangled. Priority red four. So, like the, the higher up robots, the ones doing it? Leela, no. They took it to a special place. I said, didn't I? I said he was going to get killed. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Ooh. Run? Why wouldn't you have run? I'm so confused. Do you know what this is? No. I must ask. I must ask that you tell no one about it. Is there anyone left alive to tell? What? So he's going to frame Leela? Not soon enough, though. Oh! A rat! I didn't kill him! Ask this thing! You try that again and I'll quit on you. Why did you kill him? I didn't! Tell him! That is the single function they want on what? D, Clark. D or dumb. He can't speak. Has anyone told him that? Right. Poor Gaz. You must be stronger than you look. You must be stupider than you look. If you oh! Look at the crew and now. Oh, come on, man. Why do you use these? Move off the activation disc. There's one on Carol, too. <laughs> That's hilarious. But the robot is not dumb. He speaks. That one's ready to kill. I had to restrain him. She murdered him, didn't she? No, she didn't. Obvious. Yeah. What are you doing, Gav? Just standing here talking to you. You should be very careful if I were you. What are you doing on this mine? Well, we're travellers. We came here by accident. Oh, that's it? Yeah. I suppose it's also a coincidence that as soon as you two arrive, three of our people are killed. Well, 
Oh, sorry, I thought it was a rhetorical question. Yes, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Why are you wasting time on them? We know they're guilty. We don't know anything, you sure? We just hope they're guilty. He was hiding Kiru's body in that hopper and got trapped when it was turned on. Now that's a fact! No! There is one other possibility, you see, Mr. Lovenham. We've heard quite enough out of you. You know, you're a classic example of the inverse ratio between the size of the mouth and the size of the brain. I think the, a couple of the women are going to go and speak to them because I don't think they think that Doctor and Leela did it. the commander oh, you do. concentrating so there's lock it can always be unlocked it's just a matter of picking out the right combination how long will that take no more than two or three weeks three weeks <laughs> well several million combinations would be cruel you don't seem to be taking this very seriously doctor i'm taking it very very seriously It looks like an iPhone's been slotted in there. But why would the commander want to kill people? Nice added uh, sound effects there. She was in his quarters. Go to Yuvanov's quarters as fast as you can. What did she find? He came on the command speaker and accused him of being the killer. He's left control like a scale 20 blow. It's a vicious circle. People can neither live with them nor exist without them. So what happens if the strangler is a robot? Oh, I should think it's the end of this civilization. Okay, great. Is it all to do with money? Get the tin brains to make another search and this time do it thoroughly. No, Ralph! Get out of my way, fool. I'm confining you to quarters and leaving your command. She was dead when I got here. What were you doing there, making doubly sure? Oh, don't be a fool. Get out of my way. I can't. 
can't, and neither can you. Uh, oh. Body. What does Borg say? Two more silly events. Nothing is in there. That's so what's gone down. The drive links appear to have been sabotaged. I'll need a Delta for a perfect. No, Das. Come back to control deck. I need to... Why? Know. I know what you're thinking, but we had nothing to do with it. It's fate I always arrive. It's a gift! May I remind you, we'll all blow together when she blows if you don't cut the power! The units will not stop. Control failure indicated. Someone sabotaged the control! What's the limit for the motive units? I don't know, 90%. Guys, we're on course for a 10 out of 10 at the moment. That is so good. I love this story. The robots, there was just something about them. They've got really large lips and really large eyes, and there's just something about them that are absolutely terrifying. Um, the commanders involved, I think, um, he must be wanting something to do with money because that's all he seems to be talking about. The costumes are insane. The set is insane. Uh, I, uh, it's just really good, isn't it? It's just a really bloody great story so far. Um, definitely feeling references to Voyage of the Damned. Uh, I don't know whether that was done intentionally when Voyage of the Damned was written, but I'm definitely feeling similarity. And Voyage of the Damned is one of my favourite episodes ever in Doctor Who. So it's only natural that I'm kind of feeling the same way towards this story. And Leela's great. She's great. I still think we need time to, to discover her a bit more. It'll be nice when we see her... Um, like when we see her go to earth for the first time when we see her in normal clothes but i really love this feistiness she's got she's ready to fight and i and i and she's kind of really just embracing this whole this whole journey it must be so overwhelming for her but she's just going with it and i love that great fantastic right allons-y thank you so much for joining me i hope you are well and I will be back tomorrow with another reaction.